an introduction to image visualization in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. Now let me show you the codes. So basically we're going to do is we're going to import the image collection into a Google Earth Engine and filter using time m time and uh, a polygon or a shape file so and to define the visualization uh, parameters in google earth engine so let's get started so here we are first we defined to get a feature collection with a lowest boundary so it refers to uh, we're, going, we're going to uh, extract the information using this function so we are entering a var countries a variable called countries is equal to a feature collection so this particular uh, this represents the the data we're going to acquire so i will explain in uh, about this in upcoming videos uh, next is the uh, a variable called egypt is equal to countries so filtering so suppose if you want to uh, filter a data only for a particular country you can use this option called uh, countries dot filter double e dot filter so you can uh, uh, specify the name of the country here uh, in this case i have specified as an egypt suppose if you want to change the country you can also specify as a usa or uh, a german or uh, united states of america so in this way you can uh, filter a data for a particular country so next is we have a, a load an image called load an image collection. So here we are going to lo load an image collection. Suppose we are specifying the image coll collection to load that particular image collection. We are referring a variable called image, an image double e dot image collection, referring to a landsat, a landsat eight image. So the TOA refers to an at atmospheric reflectance and we are filtering it by the date. So here we are using a filter date of 2016-11 and 2016-12-31. So in this uh, we are going to load an image called a Landsat 8 image and filtering it by the date of 2016-1 to 2016-12. And uh, filter bound by Egypt. So it's only going to filter the Egypt, that particular country. So what we have performed is uh, here we have uh, filtered using the Landsat 8 image is filtered using a temporal uh, temporal uh, way, and here we have filtered using a spatial way. A temporal defines the time series, and the spatial defines the the country name. So here we are specified as a dot median that refers to uh, so to get a one particular image from uh, all the series from the 2016 January to 2016 December. So to get a only one uh, image from this series, we're gonna we're going to use a function. Uh, we're going to use the dot median. So in defining a visualization parameter, we have two different uh, way. One, we're going to define the, the Landsat image as a true color composite with the specific bands of uh, specific bands we are retrieving band 5, band 4, and band 3. And similarly, we're going to visualize in the false color composite with the variable that is referring to a visual true. So uh, let me, uh, once again. So this is a for false color composite with the, we are referring to a band band 5, band 4 and band 3 of Landsat 8 image and similarly the true color composite of uh, Landsat 8 image uh, that is the band 4, 3 and 2. So next is uh, we're going to center the map and display the image. So here we go suppose if you want to add, uh, add a layer make sure that you enter as map dot add layer uh, map dot add layer so referring to the image this here the image refer to the image we have descri described earlier that is a landsat 8 image so we are using the visualizing true so the true color composite so referring this one the var 
is true refers to the true color composite so similarly suppose if you want to add uh, another layer called as a false color layer so map dot add layer image referring to this font the image we have loaded into our google earth engine and refers to and here the uh, visual whisk false refers to the visual false color composite so false color composite this false so we want to display the false color composite true color composite so after running running the script we have a two different layers that is one is of a true color composite and another layer it is of a false color composite so next is of uh, to create a blank uh, image to accept the polygon outline suppose the country we have uh, referred earlier it is it is in egypt suppose if you want to do an analysis you require the boundary uh, you have to mark the boundary so in that case we are uh, going to create a blank image to only uh, to show the boundary polygon of that country so for that we are going to use the var image one dot image mask zero and similarly we are referring in a var image two and image one referring this one and paint egypt so this is a color palette a color palette screen uh, just like the uh, symbology tool that is available in rgis that is the color ramp uh, that is available in rgis so this uh, each color ramp ha each wording has a different color ramps now let me show you that so here this particular uh, numbers refers to this ca color and similarly this particular number refers to another color so this color refers to a light green very light green now let me uh, click this one suppose if you want to refer to a purple color this color palette has been used so finally we are uh, adding a, a, a this function called map add layer we're going to add a layer with the image to referring to the color palette the palette refers to 000 and opacity it is 0.5 and the country egypt so to center this uh, map so center the map we use the function called map center object egypt so now let us uh, run our script so now let us uh, check our script whether it is working or not so let me minimize this let me run the script so landside image has been uh, getting loaded into google earth engine so you can see that we have two different files uh, three different files actually one is for the boundary file for the egypt and second it is the true color composite and now it is a false color composite so uh, now let me show uh, we have three different layers so go to this layer option that is available in here so let me turn off the false color and true color composite now you can able to see that we have uh, created the boundary file for the egypt so using this option call so using this function call var image image dot ee dot image mask var image of paint scheme this is a palette color palette and we have added that uh, boundary layer into our google earth engine so similarly we have uh, added uh, earlier our false color composite using our script so this is the false color composite landsat 8 image and now let me show you the now let me show you the true color composite so this is the true color composite of landsat uh, 8 image So we can also uh, view uh, use using this this particular script. You can uh, change the name of the country. 
and uh, you can use that uh, for view for uh, you can view this Landsat it made for different countries just by you can change this country name so suppose if you want to view by another country so let me have a change to another country from Egypt to India so I defined a variable called India and filtered by India and similarly now uh, let me run the script it is similar just have changed the country's name so let me run this script uh, let me minimize this now I will run the script so we have zoomed into our zoomed into the country called India now let me wait for some time the Landsat 8 image being loaded uh, is getting loaded So now we can able to see that the uh, the Landsat 8 image has been loaded into the Google Earth engine, and we have uh, three different layers. One represents the boundary of India, and the false color composite, and the next is a true color composite. Now let me show you this. So it's still loading. So now you can able to see that we have true color image, false color image and a boundary uh, of India. It's being loading into our into our Google Earth engine. So it's going to get completed. So our file has been imported into so that is our layer has been uh, added so let me check out this layer so we, let me turn off this one so this is the boundary layer of uh, India and uh, let me add uh, let me add the true color composite so this is the true color composite of Landsat 8 image so it's a pretty fast process compared to the traditional way we have to download things and uh, import into our softwares so it's much faster and now let me turn on this uh, turn on this and uh, turn on this and turn on this so this is a false color composite so let us re re recall what we have learned today So let me show you what we have learned. Today we have uh, loaded an Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine and filtered it by a particular country name. And we have uh, defined a visualization parameter. We have added uh, two layers, one false color composite and true color composite of a Landsat 8 image. And we have uh, further we have added a boundary layer. So using this for using this uh, statements, using a, we added a boundary file of India and uh, and we visualize two different uh, countries one is egypt and one, another one is of india we have three different layers we've seen three different layers one is of the boundary layer and second is a false color composite and third is a true color composite so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel for more videos